Hi. So I promised you all that I would talk about good customer service and bad customer service. So I really want to focus on good. Again, I don't think there's enough good things. Like, let's talk about positivity in this world because the news is such a dry. But I do have to touch on the bad part because I'm done with them. And that's PayPal. I've had an account for like many, many years. And I had closed it off for a while and didn't use it again. Once I couldn't work and all that kind of whatnot for a while, like, you know, there wasn't enough money. Things online couldn't happen. So I didn't have an account. And I couldn't find the original one that I had, so I created a new one. And everything was fine, you know. I bought things. I had it for almost a year before I realized that I put in an invalid email address. I put my email address, but I forgot the I in Gmail. They still let me create the account. I don't get it. That wasn't... E anyway, whatever. But then I tried to make it all legit and whatnot. And put in an alter... They wouldn't let me put my other one in, so I put my other email address in there, and that's whatever. And what happened today had happened before. So something happened that there was a glitch in the system from something that I bought that I had paid with PayPal. Because PayPal used to be this thing where they would like protect whatever you bought. That stuff is gone. <laughs> gone. I usually buy everything from like Amazon. I try the most that I can, even if I pay a little bit more. Because Amazon has that built-in protection that you don't need PayPal for, which is great. Dealing with like a wish and whatnot, I'm, I'm done. Um, whatever. Long story. <clears throat> so, but PayPal, again, it happened before. Probably around like January or something. Something happened that a purchase that I had made had been returned. And so the pending, it was still a pending transaction. I argued with them God knows how many times to tell them that they had already taken the money out of my bank account and they needed to refund me. And it didn't matter who I talked to there. They kept telling me, it's just a pending transaction. It's going to come off your account in 30 days. No, it didn't. I got charged anyway. During that whole fiasco, I mean, I was in contact with my bank. Because when I could work back in the day, um, I worked in the fraud department for a credit card company. So there's things about this world I don't get, okay? I'm not good at shopping, I'm not good at price stuff, but I can do math. And I know some of the rules. And I just couldn't understand why PayPal was treating me that way. Because again, I called my bank. I had the confirmation number, the transaction number, that, that you know, whoever was on the other end of the PayPal transaction had actually received my money. But according to PayPal, it was just pending and it never happened yet. Like, that was a whole kerfuffle. And then I was going to cancel, but my Ipsy subscription was through them. I was like, uh, all right, whatever. And I figured I'd leave it alone. Now, my Ipsy subscription is on hold. I don't know if I'll be able to afford it or not. Guys, I have to get my own cell phone now. All right. Ipsy, I love it. But it's an extra. And I mean... I get awesome stuff like this. This was three dollars on my last. That's okay now. On my last Elf order, and I should have bought another one. The one I just placed today. Ah, oh, it's great. Pout Perfector. I mean, it's just like glitter. You can't really put it on top of anything else unless it's a stain underneath. But I love it. Glitter heaven, and I love glitter, so we're all happy. But again, this is where Elf comes in. Because like this morning, or yesterday, okay, I'm not good with time. I placed an order, and I tried to cash in the points, and long story short, technical difficulties happened, and it didn't work. And I only figured that out, you know, later in the day when I went to look into my account and all that kind of whatnot. And so I called, and I called California, because it's not a 100 number, because the chat agent on that particular day wasn't helpful. And then when I called, I landed on this wonderful lady named Barbara. And yeah, I'm gonna say her name. Her name's Barbara, 
She works for Elf Cosmetics. She's a customer support representative. And she was amazing. One, she listened to my problem. She didn't cut me off. She listened to what I had to say. Then she apologized for the fact that the previous agent on the chat wasn't whatever. Maybe they probably have standards, I'm assuming, for their customer service. Whatever it was, she then told me she was going to look into it so that it didn't happen to anybody else. Great. Thank you. Then she went above and beyond and fixed my order the way I wanted it because I was trying to add, you know, the new bonus things that they have, which was great. Um, she added that on there and it got fixed within 20 minutes. So again, for all of you that wonder why I keep buying from Elf Cosmetics, one, I like it. I look pretty. It works very well. Like this stuff is the bomb. You know what? I bought that Becca and I like this better than the Becca lip topper. And this is three bucks and Becca's like, I don't know. I never, I'm never gonna, probably gonna buy it again. Elf just wins up for me. You know, I'm on a budget kind of whatnot. But I'm slowly splurging into high end and they're not necessarily beating it out. So, okay, good product. Things that I can afford within my budget. But the biggest thing is that yes, their customer service is amazing. And let's talk about good things. And okay, sometimes there's a bad apple in the bunch. Doesn't matter where you work. Again, I used to work in call centers. There's always one of them that's not having a good day. Don't hold that one bad thing against the whole company. If you have a bad, any company in the world, if you have a bad interaction when you know, have a problem, wait about three hours to calm down. Unless, because that was my problem before, you know. I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't calm down. I'd just get higher and uh, be mad. Calm down and try again. You're going to get another person. And that other person will most probably help you if they didn't help you the first time. That's my tip. So PayPal, you're donezo. Because it happened again with that same elf order. Because when Barbara stepped in and helped me out, the first order got canceled straight off. But that order was still sitting in my PayPal as an authorized or pending transaction. Well, guess what? That pending transaction had been taken out of my bank account. And then again, they wouldn't believe me. So I did like 16 phone calls. Actually, I did so many phone calls that they would not take my calls anymore when I called with a special number through the PayPal website. The bank has a special number to reach your customer service in case, you know, disputes happen and whatnot. I used to call those numbers and I used to talk to them. So one of my bank gave me the number and I called PayPal directly. And again, they were still rude and not nice and didn't want to listen to anything. And they kept telling me that the money had been taken. I have even offered to send them the emails that I got from Barbara herself because she personally emailed me to tell me everything was perfectly fine. Three times. Because PayPal kept being a jerk. They wouldn't even take my, they wouldn't do anything. So I gave up. Then I called my bank. So this is my next thank you very much for very good customer service. I have to look his name. So Greg at CIBC, thank you, dude. He fixed it. Again, he apologized for the fact that PayPal was being jerks. And I told him, like, you know, I'm closing the account or whatnot. He understood what was going on. It took me a few times to explain it because I have a hard time explaining what I'm trying to say sometimes. Yes, I, I do because these videos get edited out a lot. I'm working on it, all right? All right. But he took the time to listen to what I had to say and he understood that I had done everything I could, you know, PayPal side, and, you know, he fixed it. So thank you very much, Greg. And you fixed it in less than an hour. So great, again. Let's give them good things. People are good out there. There's nice people that care about other people. Some people go to work and hate their jobs. You know, it happens everywhere. Some people go to work, they like what they do, and I think they should get recognition when they do something good. So here's my recognition for that. And my last recognition, before I go into the stuff I bought yesterday, and why 
that's on my computer. Is I don't remember your name, Dee, but I'm so sorry. The guy at the Rogers store that helped me get this new phone and plan. See my I love that. It's cute. Um, I don't remember your name, but I did fill out your customer service email that you were great. Now this guy was so kind. Now one, I was out on my own trying to get something. So one, I was full of anxiety, you know, and the more anxious I am, the more I ramble on, the less sense I make. I'm jumping from one thing to another. One, he listened. He took the time and listened. When I apologized about it, he was like, no, no, don't worry about it. I understand. You were that nice to me that you kind of cured a little bit of stuff. So, yes. And the same guy at Marshall's later on that day, do it if forget your name, that you're the unicorn guy. It's the same thing. He recognized my anxiety. I told him I did. He was like, it's cool. I have anxiety as well. Let's deal with this together. There's good people out there. Let's point them out. Let's not yell in when every time we don't get our five cents off or whatever. So that's done. There's a reason I turned the camera so that you can see this. And I'm sorry if you can hear the cars drive by. It's super hot in here. I need the window open. Um, again, I live with what I can afford. So air conditioning don't come with this place. However, I still love this place. Okay, so whatever. Um, the reason this is up is because I got this one. I have a hard time saying the name of it. SL Miss Glam. In my Ipsy. It's a little sponge. And I love it. I really, really do. And I wanted another one. So, yesterday, I went on an adventure. I got the guts to do it. Why? Because... I'm getting feedback. Again, I don't do this for the public likes and the public's whatever. I don't care how many likes. I mean, if you want to like my videos and, and, you know, whatever, that's cool. You want to subscribe, go for it. Whatever you don't want to, I don't care. I get messages, but they're all private. And that's okay. Because the point of this YouTube is to follow along with the web page, the Facebook page. And the Facebook page is about, you know, living with mental illness, what they are, what do they do, what are the tips and tricks, you know, that I figured out along the way, plus articles I find here and there that could be helpful. And most of the interaction I have with people is done anonymously, and that's okay. And that's kind of why it works. A lot of people, there's stigma attached to mental health stuff. They don't want people to know. I don't care. I'll help you. I'll give you the information that you want. You know, we don't have to scream it from the rooftops, okay? That's fine. So, I don't care about the numbers. If you don't see a lot of big numbers, who cares? They're still there. Not my point. So, I got the courage to go out uh, yesterday because I'm getting a lot of feedback. I'm getting a lot of people, you know, encouraging me, thanking me for, you know, sharing my life. Uh, I'm not ashamed of it. And I I'm proud of how far I've come. So, if it's helping anybody out there, that's my whole point. My point when I started this was, if I can help one person, I've won. And so far, my number is higher than one. And I'm going to keep going. So, thing is, is that I needed a new cordless phone. Yes, I went through some difficult things. Now I'm on the way to starting my new journey, my new life, and whatnot. But when things got really, really frustrated, because again... All those health issues that I'm having, now that I have my health records, I've needed a pacemaker since 2015. Nobody said anything, nobody did, nobody did nothing. Same thing for my kidneys, they knew they were failing, all that kind of stuff. Basically, the system was gonna let me die. Because I don't know why yet. And it was so frustrating because I was calling people to try to find somebody to be held accountable. And apparently there's nobody. Apparently you can do this. Okay, let's just calm down because it's upset me. So I got so mad one day that I threw my phone. And it wasn't working no more. It only worked on speakerphone. So I needed another phone. And I found at Walmart that they had this one on sale for $17. But it was white. This one's black. Therefore I couldn't get it at $17. Oh, 
Okay, calm down. However, I got the courage to go out. Now, yesterday was a super rainy day. So I figured, you know what? It's Thursday afternoon. It's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's raining. Maybe there won't be a lot of people there. I tried. So I went to Walmart, got my phone. It wasn't that bad. Now, however, where I live, the bus exchange stop is like right between where the Walmart and the Winners Plaza is. And when I got out to catch the bus after buying my phone, I had just missed the bus I needed to catch to come home. And it comes every 15 minutes. So instead of waiting in the rain, I decided to go to Winners. Why? Well, when I like it there, because I'm kind of looking for another sponge that's like this one. And I looked online and they're all super expensive. And, you know, I thought, you know, maybe I can get cool stuff there. Plus, I have gift certificates. Because when I do my work, and if you do things correctly, you get bonus points and you can cash them in. What I cash them in for is, you know, gift cards at Winners. All right. So I was looking for this one again. This is the one I ended up getting. Now, they're the same shape, right? Yeah. But there's a difference in size. But it wasn't when I bought it because I was trying to get another one of this exact one. So if you see, this is the packaging it came in. Uh, it's called Danielle's Creations. I think they've been around for a while uh, from what I can read on the internet and they're just kind of starting into brushes and whatnot. Um, and I tried this sponge today for the first time on my look at how I love it. Um, but that's not the point. It was this big, this is the package it came in. So I thought it was gonna be this big, but when you get it wet, it like, it really grows. <laughs> It really does. And it's like those dinosaur caplets we had when we were kids. You throw them in the bathtub and then all of a sudden you get this huge spongy dinosaur. Um, yeah. So, and there was a purple one and then there's like this awesome neon orange. I don't think you can see how neon orange this is. There you can. Yeah. Now there's a special person in my life that changed my whole life that was able to make me realize that I can do a lot more on my own and I can be my own person, who gave me the strength to be who I am when I was first, you know, getting out into the world. And this is for her. I know she watches these videos. Her favorite or her favorite color, her favorite color is orange. So every time I refer to anything orange, it's for you. <laughs> she changed my life. And we're still friends to this day. We don't always talk that that often because, you know, Busy lives, busy lives, whatever. But I picked the orange one simply because, thinking of you, I had a choice, orange and purple. I went with orange. Uh, and it's like totally neon, so I mean, I'm kind of, why not? Neon, glitter, rainbows, they're kind of all in the same pot, aren't they? So yeah, it's really, really squishy. And I love it. Danielle's Creations is five bucks. Worth the five bucks. And I also kind of needed my cellar water, obviously. I wear a lot of makeup, I need to take it off. And I was looking around. Now I know, because sales are, you know, I have to look at sales and I'm learning about them. That, you know, it, it was gonna be on sale this weekend. But then I saw this, this whole bottle, and it was $5. And what's awesome about it, if you can see, is it's got tea tree oil in the micellar water. Hello, yes. I mean, my acne is really, really clearing up. So the rosehip oil is helping. But mostly, the stress level that I was under for all those years is starting to go away. That's what stress can do, horrible things. So, but micellar water with tea tree oil, it's two in one, plus, it's 16 fluid ounces. I don't know what that is in Canadian shit, but that is like a really big bottle and it was five bucks. And then I looked it up when I got home on the internet and you can buy it. It's like 20 bucks if you want to buy it, the whole thing. Yes. It's old packaging, still good product. It's not expired yet. I checked. Then again, tea tree oil almost doesn't expire. I mean, it does, but it takes a really long time. Because that's exactly what tea tree oil is. It's antifungal. It preserves stuff. Whatever. When? I haven't tried it yet. When I do, I'll let you all know. But I'm extremely confident. 
The next thing I got was Makeup Revolution. The Slay Palette. And I'm wearing part of it. I was super excited. Now, one, I've never tried Makeup Revolution in my life. Because I don't think it was available here. I mean, I don't know. Again, I don't know how to get makeup other than on the elf.com website, okay? Everything else I get comes from winners because it's, you know. Or Hot Look. I discovered Hot Look a whole long time ago. but And it had these colors. Now, these were colors. I had the choice between two palettes. Actually, there's three. There was their Unicorn palette, which I really liked, but that was a little bit more expensive. And then there was this one, the Slay. And then there was the Selfie. And I looked at the colors. I opened them up. Now, and then I also found this. It's been stolen. I was very upset. Anyway, but I looked at the colors and I found that these colors were the ones that appealed to me better. Now, I thought this was going to be like a one look palette, okay? These are all mattes. However, I love them. Like, they're super, super, super matte, which is great. And then the last ones, they're shimmers. One, I mean, I've never used this stuff, so am I happy with this? Kind of. Let me tell you why. One, these things are tiny. To get your brushes in there, it's hard to not get the color that's next to it. And personally, like, I'm blind. I am literally, I'm more than legally blind without glasses on. To the point that, um, for those of you who worry, who do know about this, I am going to be getting, like, another button for the shower part. Because when I take my glasses off, this eye is so much worse than this one. Because it's got an astigmatism, and it has to do with, like... Between here and here, I can't see. So, I so if I'm trying to do my makeup on days that I wear my glasses, which is pretty much 99% of the time, because I have problems with my eyes, they're very, very dry, and that comes from the fact that my kidneys are still not working very well. Well, right now I don't have any glasses on. I can't see. I mean, I know where the camera is because I can see the flashing red light. Eh, eh, nope. So, my point is that if I'm trying to do a makeup look and I can't see very well to begin with, it's really hard to, like, get into this little tiny little pan. However, I only paid four bucks. So I'm not mad. Because the formula of it is amazeable. The formula is great. They blend amazing. They work well with others as well, which is a good thing. You want your makeup to be able to blend with other kind of brands. Because if it only works with themselves, well, you know, whatever. I don't think that's cool, you know? Kind of like racist makeup against itself. Can you say that? I don't know. So it works well with every other kind of makeup. And I love that about my e.l.f. cosmetics too. They blend well with each other. And they blend well with other brands. Same thing for my W7 brands that I have. Which happen to all be cruelty free. Love cruelty free makeup. My best friend that I had in junior high, she had a bunny. And the bunny was the cutest thing ever. And I will remember him forever. He used to actually be able to open the fridge door himself. Because it was one of those like two door fridges with the long handles. And he would, you know, nibble on food in the bottom part of the fridge cutest thing ever so no i'm not cool with them testing on bunnies okay and i don't like mice there's a whole thing about me and with mice but i still think that they have feelings and that you know whatever okay we're done so yes the formula of makeup revolution i get it i know why everybody raves about it it's great however this palette it's kind of like the same color they might look different in the pan, but when you put them on your eye, it's like the same hue. Just one's dark and one's light. You can't make a whole eye look with this. I had to add other colors. I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted it to be a whole thing. But other than that, I'm super happy. And for four bucks, I'm not complaining because there are some colors in here that I really like. I've never had anything with reds in them. There's a lot of reds in this. So I'm going to keep working with it. 
but I'm a little disappointed because it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. But again, for four bucks, not complaining, super happy. My makeup sponge, if this is like the greatest thing ever. Next time I go around there and I got a little extra cash, I'm going to get another one from Danielle's Creations, if they're still there. And like stock up because I like them. They're, they're just great. And I cleaned it and it's super easy to clean. So everything again, and this is my cellar water. Yeah. And I also got a pair of headphones because I needed headphones. The ones that came with my phone were just poopy ones. That, no. Those are the things that I got. I liked them, some not so much. And those were also the good customer service stories. I had one bad incident with PayPal. It was really bad, but I let it slide. You know, maybe they were having a bad day. But then when it happened a second time, I was done. I was done. Mostly when I had like the bank transaction numbers that that money had been taken and they kept telling me it hadn't happened. Um, telling me that I'm a liar? No. However, everybody else that I've dealt with, so Rogers, Bell Mobility, Elf Cosmetics, CIBC the bank, Amazon, I always get great customer service from Amazon as well. Yay, you're great. I will keep buying from you. I will keep being a customer, even if you raise your prices. Because that's the trick. I am willing to pay a little bit more. I mean, within reason, because I don't have that much money. But I will pay more money if I get better service. So thank you, everybody. Go out there. Love each other. Help each other out. I don't know. Just be kind. And let's try to silence all of bad things.